Hi everyone, I am Front Row Phyllis, an acclaimed retelling of the classic film Die Hard, an extraordinary one-man performance, Yippee Kai Yay. And we are thrilled to welcome the writer and performer, Richard March. Welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I am fantastic. I think you brought the snowy weather. Is that what it is? I mean, it's gone a bit diehard too today. So, yes. Exactly. You know, we got to jump right into this. How how does one transform the blockbuster hit Die Hard into a parody? How do how do you do that? Well, the the reasons that I start writing different projects, it often comes down to something that makes me laugh, something that tickles me. And I've always liked the idea of I use a lot of poetry in the telling of the play. And I've always liked the idea of using poetry to tell the kind of story that doesn't seem like it's necessarily poetry. Mm -hmm. So what's the opposite of poetry? An action movie. What is the greatest action movie? Obviously Die Hard. So right there, you've got something that's kind of got me laughing as an idea. Right. And then so like the idea of my sort of skinny, bespectacled British self playing all-American hero John McClane, that made me laugh too. So I had sort of two, two funny things to start off with. And then it was a process of sort of breaking down a movie, find all my favorite parts of the film, working out how to tell them on stage. And also alongside the Die Hard story, I tell a story of what it is to be a fan of Die Hard as well. I tell a more personal story. So there's two things we're telling throughout the show. So can you tell the viewers that haven't seen the show yet because we just started, can you tell the viewers a little bit about the show, what they're going to expect? Yeah, absolutely. So if you come and see Yippie Kaye, you're going to get all of Die Hard. You're going to get all of the stunts, all of the characters, all the big moments from the film told via one actor. So I'm often playing two people talking to myself. I'm doing fights with myself. And we stage all of the stunts and the big moments in very creative, very playful kind of fun ways. And so sort of the audience is kind of complicit and participating in the theatricality of it, the pretense of it. So it's almost like when children play imagination games, they're, they're just pretending things are different from what they are. And so that's what we do in a very sort of, I think, pure and theatrical and sort of comic way. So you'll get all of that. Um, I, I make sure that the story, probably, I'm going to guess, maybe like 80%, 75-80% of the people who come are diehard fans who've watched Die Hard. But okay. they might not have watched it very recently because it came out, you know, more than 30 years ago. Some people might have watched it a long time ago. Right. So I mean, for them and for people who maybe don't know the film. Mm -hmm. I ask people at the beginning of the show how many people have seen Die Hard, how many people haven't, and there's always people who haven't seen it. You know, maybe their partner is a big fan of it, or like with a group of friends. So I make sure I tell the story for people who are new to Die Hard as well. And someone said to me after the show the other day that they hadn't seen Die Hard, but they felt that they had seen it. And they were going to go off and watch the movie now. And that's sort of lovely. Also, when they watch the movie, it will be quite different. So how many times did you see the film Die Hard? How many times have you seen it? I mean, I, I couldn't count this. So I, really? <laughs> when I started retelling it, I immediately, when I had the idea to do it, and I felt now was the right time to do it, I wrote down all of my favorite moments in the film to make sure that they would be in the show before I rewatched it. Mm -hmm. And then I rewatched it like a number of times when I was writing it. And then again, when I was rehearsing, so I could sort of hear the nuances of actors' performances and their physicality and try to borrow those. It's not an impression show. I'm not doing an impression of, of Bruce Willis or right. Alan but I'm doing my version of them in the show. And so hopefully it's, it's when you're doing a one person show, one of the important things is clarity because you're embodying all of the characters. You want to make sure that the audience immediately understand who is who and who is talking. Mm -hmm. So that's really important for that too. Richard, thank you again. This has been great. So informative. We cannot wait. Yippee Kaye is playing now through December 15th at the Broadway Playhouse. Thank you, and we can't wait to see the show. Thanks for having me, Phyllis. Lovely chatting to you. Bye-bye. You too. Bye. Cut to titles. Yippee. Kai. Yay. The best poetry action film on stage you'll see today. We meet near the Prince Charles Cinema. Die Hard's on tonight, and I've got tickets. Outside a pub, five to eight, she's here. It's an actual date. Nakatomi Plaza. Nakatomi Building. Nakatomi Corporation right on top, a long way from home for a blue-collar cop. They have an actual full-size indoor waterfall. <laughs> the magic of theatre. <laughs> Hanging onto a strap, lashed onto a gun, wedged into the door above him, but then, realising his folly, his thoughts turned to Holly. 
and whether she might ever love him again. All he had to do, look in her eyes, ignore the watch, apologize. Gotta grow up, John. Get the duck, John. Who's that in the elevator? Perfect purring perpetrator. It's time to give it up.